Corner comes over, headed away as far as Gavin Peacock. Peacock just takes it down and sends it back towards Keith Rowland. Rowland takes it down. Can he get the cross in? And it comes in towards Kiwamia. Kiwamia inside the area. Tension mounts, looks to get his crossover, comes back towards Keith Rowland. Rowland just needs to uh, juggle the ball around the balloons, which is uh, an absolute nightmare, those balloons there. Kawamia turns inside, gets his crossover, comes out now to Kulsa. Kulsa shot! Kulsa! Kulsa scores for Queen's Park Rangers! Kevin Miller stood completely still, and you wonder whether Kevin Miller did that on purpose, but Rangers are one up! won't be enough Rangers will need to get more just to uh, settle everybody down and long kick forward from Ludek Matloshko and this has worked before for him and oh to the post yes yes he scored it's 2-0 here's Kuomia for Queen's Park Rangers It's Queen's Park. Throw to Crystal Palace. Well, you wonder what uh, Steve Koppel might have said to his side at half time. And it's another throw. And now the card is coming out. And Van Ziyi has been sent off. More drama and Palace tempers boiling over. Well, Van Ziyi. Very good situation here. Off for Queen's Park Rangers. Well, a third goal will surely be enough for Rangers. It really has been a fabulous performance so far as it's flicked through and the shot comes in, the chance here. Kiwamia, yes! It's 3-0! Well, the place vibrates, and it's Queen's Park Rangers' third goal. Still Keith Rowland. Played through to Gavin Peacock. Flag stayed down, Peacock with the chance, and away. Slade was in there. Scully now. Scully! Oh, what a goal! What a fantastic goal, Tony Scully! 4 0, Palace are being destroyed! They're down, Rangers with a chance here. Scully racing again. Scully! He was pulled back! Penalty! Will he let Kiwamia take it for the hat trick? Sug back. Will they let Kawamiya take the penalty? I should imagine they will. And a red card. Palace down to nine men. Off goes David Woosley. And Crystal Palace fans will be devastated with this performance. They're completely ruined this afternoon. They're down to nine men. The club is in saved back in again and this is going in it is it's a goal five goals to nil well i don't know what palace are complaining about some fans getting very over excited and it doesn't matter what oxford do saved by Matloshko, not the, the best of saves I've ever seen, carried away, but Palace looking to get maybe a consolation, but no, not past Ian Barrett Club, this is Peacock, Rangers really relaxing, playing some delightful stuff, Slade to Roland. ball played across to Tony Scully, who's taken all the time in the world, bounces off a balloon, cross comes in, header, save, again, oh, what a goal! Oh, this is fantastic for QPR. 6 0. Okay. 
Scully again. Ball played on. They're finding the gaps. Of course, Palace down to nine men. Here's Murray. Murray playing it in towards Gallon. Gallon might fancy something here. Gallon! Oh! Gallon so close to a seventh for Queen's Park Rangers. A throw. The referee looks at his watch again. And there really can't be much time left. And there will be masses of celebrations here. There goes the final whistle. Queen's Park Rangers are safe. They've done it. It's QPR 6, Crystal Palace nil, and watch the celebrations at the end of this now as you see the fans run on the pitch. Tremendous celebrations here at Loftus Road. We're going to leave you with the final score, QPR 6, Crystal Palace nil. QPR are safe in Division 1. The fans celebrate and it's 6-0. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for your support this season. And we'll see you back here in August.